back to my channel and anybody that's new welcome um i do have a on my youtube channel here i do have a playlist just for jangle blocks so i do a lot of jangle blocks creations so if you're new to my channel go check them out so today i've had a lot of requests not today but i've had a lot of requests for mickey mouse so we are going to build one today using jenga blocks um if we do get if i do get time in the video i will make mini so i use this l shape i guess carpenter ruler from dt i find it works very well when you're gluing your blocks together and keeping them aligned especially because they are a little bit off and sometimes the width or the length but I try my best to use them and I suggest using the ruler when you're gluing the pieces together we will be using the DT Jenga blocks you're gonna need just over three boxes uh, total count for Mickey is 223 uh, gonna use well bond thank you to Nikki for letting me know on my crafty shopper page that you can buy it at Hobby Lobby I'm in Canada so we don't have a Hobby Lobby I buy mine at Rona slash Lowe's. Now we're gonna stop, start with the top part of the face and we're gonna use six blocks this way and we are going to do four rows. Four rows. That's 24 blocks. Now the bottom part of the face, we're gonna do the ears at the end. The bottom part of the face now starts with a row of six, sideways, another row of six, same sideways, a row of seven, sideways, and you kinda of wanna put the, them centered as you go down. Next row is six, Next row is five, and these ones are all sideways as well. And the last row is four. And you're just gonna wanna center them. Next part we're gonna move on to is the neck. It's two on top with two on the bottom, which is four. And we're just gonna place it there. Now we're gonna paint it in sections, I find I've done a couple videos with doing them in sections and painting them prior as before we glue things on and I find it works a lot better because then you're not holding it, gluing it all at once and moving it and shifting it. Especially when you want to do colors on a separate section, it's a lot easier doing it separate. So I'm just going to show you the build. So we're going to keep this one separate, but I'm going to keep building underneath just to show you. So that'll be one section we glue together and then I'll, once they're glued together, I'll start back again and then show you the colors and the design that we'll do. The next part I'm gonna call it is the upper part of the body. Now there is seven rows and they're rows of six. So one, two, three, four, oh, sorry, seven rows, six, seven. So like this. Now we're gonna do the lower part of the body. Hold these ones off. That's gonna be another seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, sorry, six. Yep, seven, same thing with six across. Now in those last seven rows, we're gonna put four and you're gonna glue them lengthwise and we're gonna attach it to here. So this will be the top, um, the top part of his shorts. So that, this is a section this is its own section and now the bottom part of the shorts so this section here sorry i did mention for is 42 and then this one is also 42. sorry 42 plus the eight on the bottom section then the bottom part of the shorts are three rows of three and that's lengthwise and that is nine so we're gonna put it right to the end there. We're gonna have a gape, a gap, a gape. Um, and we're gonna do another one on this side, another row of nine. So the bottom part of the shorts is 18 blocks. This is the section you're gonna to glue together. And this is the section you're, you're gonna keep these parts separate. 
Now I do suggest when you do glue them that you wait a good six hours plus or more. If you read the back of the bottom and you are using Wellbond, it says wait 24 hours. 12 I find is good. Six as long as you're not rough on them and you're not throwing them around. But I do suggest waiting so the glue, it, it, you can move them within 20 minutes, half an hour, but if you're painting them, you're moving around, sometimes they do shift. All right, so for the legs, we are going to do three across, three across, and the exact same on the back, times two. So for the legs, it's 24 blocks. And for the feet part, we are doing four and another layer four, which is upright. Exact same over here, which is 16. And we are going to put them, oops, we're gonna switch them this way. And they're gonna be like that glued onto the front. Now, if you watch some of my other videos, I do explain, um, I do, do use a, a Dremel, just a hand tool, just to take the edges off and, or you don't have to buy one of those and you don't have to do that. Uh, DT has a filing pad as well as a nail file, which I find works just as well. I just like using the hand tool. So, now we're going to start painting. Now I'm not going to show you the arms yet because I need to find something, one thing for the arms that I did show you, but something for the hands and the ears are going to be, I have to go to the store tomorrow. So in the meantime, we're going to start painting just because that's drying time and it's getting late over here. So we're going to just start off with the whole head because we're going to do two different colors on it. I have DT Paint Vivid Yellow, I, or sorry, why am I doing yellow? Uh, warm Beige from DT, I'm gonna paint that. The top part, the upper body, is going to be black. I just got some black paint here, I'm gonna paint that. And the shorts, we're gonna do red. And I just, my favorite red from DT is the Tuscany red. I think I've done it for my, for my uh, Jenga block train that I did last year. And I'm trying to think of, there's a couple other ones that I use the red for. And I always just love the Tuscany red of all the reds that I have is always the Tuscany red. The leg parts I'm going to paint before I glue them on so I don't miss up any lines. Um, I just have this yellow. It's a bright yellow. This is from a different dollar store. This is from Dollarama. I do have the vivid yellow. I just find it's way too, it's like more like a canary, too bright. This one seems to be a little bit darker. I'm going to double check tomorrow when I go to DT, but this will be for the bottom part. This will also be black. So the legs are black. The, I guess you want to call them the shoes, yellow, shorts, red, upper body, black, and the head beige. I'm going to paint all those and we will carry on tomorrow. All right, so I got the pieces painted. So we have the head, the upper body, the lower body. Let's sit here. Uh, the legs. Now I did say in the video that I was going to put the legs like this, but I found the legs a little bit too short for Mickey. So I am just going to put them here. I do need a couple more coats um, of the yellow on here because it's very thin. And so it would just be on top like that. Not like that. So I'm going to glue these two pieces on. I'm going to leave the legs for the last to glue on for the balance once everything's on it. I'm going to glue those. So I'm just going to move those to the side, guys. Going to glue those. So for the ears, 
Um, DT just came out with these little wood plaques. They have like a little wire in the back. It came out in different prints um, in the crafting section. So this is what I wanted to use from ears. Now, if you don't have these, you could use like a wood cookie. I have one here. Um, I just find they were too small. I had some round cutouts that were just way too big from DT. I'm not gonna grab them because there's a bunch of stuff on it over there. They were like super thick too. It was way too thick. Um, but I opted for these, even though there's a hole in them. So taking the stickers off, off anything usually if you're gonna paint over them. I always suggest using a hair dryer and then using, um, what do you call them? Eyebrow pluckers, uh, tweezers, and peeling it off. And I would still buff it because even though I used the blow dryer to get the two stickers off, there was still some residue. So I file and sanded some already to show you. So this is what I have. As you can see, the one other side is not done. I still didn't need to do another, I think, two coats. So I did a few coats on the other ones. We're going to put it behind his head like that and glue it on. No, I think I don't want to stick my head under the camera here so I can't really see that well on the angle that I'm at. I'm just going to stick a block here. Let me see if I can stick a block. Oh, we've got these blocks everywhere so it looks a little bit more even then the next thing now I'm not the best painter so I'm not going to do this on camera and all I suggest is what I'm going to do is just google a picture of Mickey's head and he has that little v and I'm going to paint the back here black and go around so I am going to look at a picture so I suggest to do that um, the only way I'm going to come back is kind of tell you about it to do the V. I will glue that on prior to painting it just so I know where I have my lines set with both sides um, is the best way I can explain it. Now I'm going to glue those on before I do paint that which will be off camera. This part I am going to glue and just center it. We are going to use um, first pants is just some buttons and you can glue those on because that's the simple part right there. Once you have the legs, I'm not sure if this is all fitting in the camera guys because he's, he's already pretty big. Um, so the next step we're going to do is the arms. And I like to do these in sections, but don't glue these on till the end because of the weight of the ears will be on the back of the head. So you might need to put the legs closer to the front underneath when you glue it. Um, I'd suggest not gluing this, gluing this part and this part and then gluing the legs on because then you can turn this upside down to glue the legs on appropriate when you figure out where the balance is with the heavier wood. They're not that heavy, but you want to balance it out so it doesn't fall over. So for the arms, we are just going to use the three, uh, two rows of three upright, as you can see, and it will be stuck this way, uh, glued this way. And I suggest doing the arms last one. You can paint them off the side and it's easier to put them on after. And four cubes and four cubes, which is um, eight cubes on here. And you're gonna glue that in the middle. And you're gonna glue the arm a little bit closer to the front, not right to the front. I am gonna file the edges right around here to make them a lot more smoother. Now for the hands, and while I'm doing this now, and I'm gonna grab, I'm just looking for my hands. Give me one second. I had to find the hands, sorry. So for the hands, I searched high and low. I went to a few dollar stores kind of looking. I was trying to look for maybe an eraser. Uh, I even tried to play around with a skeleton hand. I don't know where it is in my mess behind the camera where you can't see it. Uh, I don't know. I was looking for something different. So DT came out with these 
pumpkin decorating kits. And I'm going to show you. I already have, have one drying. Um, let me show you here. So they came out with these little hands. I think they're super cute. Now they're kind of hollow on the back, which is no big deal. A little bit long. So I'm figuring about there. I have wire cutters, probably shouldn't be using it on plastic, but I'm going to anyways, and I've already did one, I'm gonna show you in a minute, is cutting on the one side before that line. And when you cut to the other side, it should just pop off. At least the other two did. Of course it was not gonna do that. And they can just pop it off like that. Now for the length, now I would go easy. Now I was just kind of measuring, which this is not even going to be the one that I'm probably going to use because this will be on mini. I'm just going to try to make it straight. So I just did a marker so I just can kind of see the line. And they are wire cutters, but I'm like only trying to do a little bit at a time when I'm trying to go and just kind of match it on the other side. As you can see, it's bending and I don't want to bend it that it just breaks like on this ridiculous. It's kind of you got to play with it. The other one's turned out. The second one I cut was a lot better because it seemed to go straight across and I will show you that in a second. I just want to show you that it's doable. Of course, this one's going to give me because I'm on camera, right? My wire cutters are not cut in plastic. But there, unless you have a different idea. Now, Mickey's hands, if you look in the pictures, he actually only has four, four fingers or one thumb and three fingers. I don't even know. But he only has the one. So I'm just going to leave the five. I'm not even going to bother taking that off and kind of like such. Hee -hee. And then you can just use to clip it a little bit more. So then you get one like this. Now, if you buy two packs, you can double up for Well, I can't, I can't, you can put one back onto the other if you use two packs. So two packs would make, if you want to make them thicker, I'm just going to keep it one. I am going to paint both sides. I haven't painted the other side. Now, I did not use paint. I used spray paint. And because it's light, if you ever spray painted something and you know how light it is, it just goes flying. I stuck tape in here, stuck it on my painting board. I just use a foam board. Stuck the tape and kept it in place, spray painted. I gave two coats. It turns out like this. I'm going to stick it right here. And you're going to put it in the middle when you attach it. So you're probably better to attach it. You can add some hot glue maybe on one side. Wait till that dries and add maybe a little bit of more um, adhesive glue, weld on whatever glue you're using. Now because you see the edges, I have one painted here. Maybe a better idea. Attach like that. You make sure, now I just, I know I just did two, two lefts, but the other one, if I cut the other one, it's one left and one right, so the thumb is facing in, if you know what I mean, the thumbs are facing in. Um, sorry. So once you get that, and I'm just going to show you this way. Once you have it like that. I just had some little bit of fun fur. I didn't have felt. I wanted to use felt. I didn't really want to use fur, but DT has those little sheets of felt you can buy. And you can just, once you have that attached, you can go around just so it doesn't look so awkward with it. I'm gonna do it this way. Awkward glued on that it's kind of rigidy that you just have a little piece and just hot glue it around tight that I think it will just look super cute with it. And I do have one of those blocks painted already, but I am gonna do the edges. I don't like the edges so pointy, so I am gonna file them and then repaint them and have it like that. 
So I will glue these on separately and then we're gonna go off to finish the head and then we'll move on to mini. All right, so when I was doing the hands, I decided to actually do them back onto each other. So when I spray painted them and I tried to paint them, but they were going on kind of streaky. So I did a, a piece of tape, a big piece of tape on here, put it on a foam board and I spray painted it white. Now in one, so I bought two packs of the Halloween, um, the Halloween little package to put on your pumpkins. So in the one pack, cause they both come like this when you put them on the pumpkin, we're just gonna glue it back right onto each other. So it's, and I'm just gonna use some weld bond. So I'm just gonna go around on the inside of the lining put it back together. Then I went out, as you can see, I did one already. Once it's glued together, I put it on a stick and I spray painted it again and let it dry. Just so you can get, just cause the, the seams you can see just a little bit. Now, as you can see, I did the one already. So I did the three little lines on it and put the little fur. I did trim down the fur um the fun fur that i wrapped around it only because it was too um it was too thick and too fluffy so i might just trim it down a little bit more once you got that glued together you're gonna take your other arm and you're gonna oh, make sure you do the thumbs in And you just gotta make sure it's level, like kind of level on both sides. So at least something's touching here. And I just use hot glue when I did the other one. And then once I hot glued it on, I just went over in some of the gapes and put the hot glue. And then I wrapped the fun, just the fun fur around it. And like I said, I trimmed it. So I'm gonna put that one on. I still haven't put the legs on yet. I'm gonna wait for the head. Um, I'm just drawing on the mouth now, which is taking me, I'm not a painter, like I've said before, I can paint stuff, but to do, uh, you know, artistically stuff, painting like that, I'm not really good at it, but I'm doing it and then we'll come back and we'll finish off the face. All right, so I just wanted to show you what I've, it's almost done. Now, I think it turned out really well. I just used some Dollar Tree googly eyes. It was just a, a rock for the nose. It's just the Black River rock. I just happened to find that shape. I had a boot tray full of them and uh, I just happened to find one. I did find one. So we are gonna do mini. Painting the face, I'm not a painter, so it's a little bit wet. I was just trying to figure out the face. Just took a reference of a picture of Mickey Mouse. Did the three little lines on the hands. I think they turned out really well and did the front and back on them. I did cut down the fur, added the buttons. So to finish them off, um, I try to hit my, after work today, I try to hit Dollar Tree and Dollarama. I'm trying to find a bow. So I wanna put a yellow bow here. I just think it would look really good. Uh, so hopefully by the end of the video, uh, this tutorial, I'll be able to show you what a yellow bow, I had, there was no yellow ribbon at DT to make a bow, uh, at either dollar stores or any hair bows, I looked for yellow. And so I'm going to try to hit my fabric store in the next couple days, uh, while I'm still doing this. And plus I'm going out of town, so this tutorial won't be out for a couple days, but so this is Mickey. He looks super cute. So we're going to move on to Minnie and Minnie's going to be the same idea, so I'm not going to start from beginning to end again. Um, the only difference we're going to do is a little bit decorating will be a little bit different. Um, the body's going to the body's going to change, and we're not going to we're going to add a skirt onto her, um, but we are going to do the same concept. So I'm not gonna go over numbers with the head. Um, 
as I already did at the beginning for Mickey. It's going to be the same concept and with the ears which are drying the exact same thing with the ears um let me see here we're still gonna do the neck exactly the same excuse me except the body is gonna be different only because we're gonna add a skirt onto her so i didn't add the little panels to make it like i did did on mickey and i didn't make the them out that there was a gape there for the shorts i figured with the skirt is a little bit poofy enough and it is from dollar tree and we'll get to that once uh, i get her painted but um i'm i'm just gonna leave it straight down and it'll be the same idea with um using the sorry um <laughs> using the wood cubes and the same arms the same hands I might change up the mitts. I'm not sure yet. Um, sorry, guys. And the exact same thing with the feet, but the feet are going to be painted totally different. So it's the same idea, like I said, when we get to that part. Now, going to do the same painting for the ears and the face with the neck, which will be a neutral, the warm beige from DT. The body we're gonna do all black, the shoulders and the arms black, and the legs black. And the shoes I am going to do, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna show you guys later what I'm gonna do with the shoes. But the idea that I had was almost looking like um like a ballet slipper, like with the like flats. Obviously, you can't put heels on her because uh, I don't think it'll be, and I'm not going to try, um, is attaching the black with kind of a, a roundness here with, I, I don't really like this, but this is the only gold they had at Dollar Tree. But I think I'm going to do the gold, and then I'm going to grab some glitter to go around to that. And I will show you that, obviously, after so let me get this painted and then we can get on to decorating mini on the feet i just took some gold paint i really did, don't it didn't look i don't really like it anyways i thought i would add some glitter and i just did a line with the black over top the glitter once i painted it gold and i came out with this so it kind of looks like she has a slip-on shoe so when you put the, the foot on, it kind of looks like that. So I haven't done the other one back, so I'll do the other one. So for the polka dots, um, DT has just come out with these for Halloween. It's just for uh, a ladybug, I guess, costume. And it just comes, it doesn't come with any of the accessory. It just comes with the skirt. Now I have the skirt here. I'm going to flip this inside out. So right where the seam is, the elastic is actually um, sewn into the end on each side. So I put a safety pin and you're gonna need another safety pin. And right before, you're gonna put it through the elastic in the material. So when we take it off, it the elastic doesn't bounce out of it. And you're just gonna cut along that line. And then we're gonna cut this mesh off, but we're gonna cut it right along the edge of the skirt. So we're gonna keep it in one big roll. So I'm gonna do that and I'll come back. All right, so this is the body part. And I cut the skirt open already. I took I cut off the mesh, so it is just one piece. If I decide to use it for something else in this DIY or use it for another project, 
in the future. I just kind of measured it around when I stuck the body around. I put another safety pin so I know where to mark it. I don't, I don't do seamstress work, so this is... So I'm sure that somebody that sews would do really well with this. But, um, so I've kind of marked it where I have the safety pin. So, and it can vary. I don't even know, I mean, I'm not stretching it fully and it's just over, I'd say eight inches where I'm gonna cut it down. I'm gonna show you this way, it's easier. So where I put this other safety pin, I'm just gonna cut straight down in a line. And then once I have it straight down in the line, I'm just gonna kind of measure it. I want it a little bit longer, this girdle just a tad longer than the bottom of the body. So, and depending how high with the skirt, so I'm probably just gonna cut it. I'm just gonna measure it here, my good old ruler. I'm probably just gonna cut it down to five inches for now. Uh, let's see. No, I'm gonna do five and a half inches short all the way around, just enough to give me enough to fold over the hem once I cut it and to fold over and seal the bottom line of it. And then I'm gonna put it on and just double check to make sure it's the right length and just sit it on top of the body with the legs on it just to make sure that it's the right height. So before I cut it, I just wanted to show you, I used some clamps, some crafting clamps from DT and I just hooked it onto my mat just because when it's too, when it's too bunched up like that, it's really hard to cut to make sure you have an even, an even line. So I just found it was a little bit easier if I did it this way and just clipped it right to the end of the mat that you'll get a more of an even cut and then you fold over the skirt and then you do the edges to attach them together inside out. Now I just want to show you that I went up three times. I just kept putting it on the block here and I just wanted it to go to about here for the skirt. So, and just a little bit past the, the line. So I did go up three times and I found that keeping it up on here with these little clips was much easier than if it was all folded together. So once now this is done, you're gonna notice that the glue is a little bit hard on the bottom and you're just gonna have to play with it so it's not just so stiff looking. And then you're just gonna glue it inside out like this and it should fit perfectly on the body. Now with the rest of the material, oops, I had this left from this section that I cut and I also have this big section as well, but I'm just gonna use, I think this might work, if not, I will use that. Uh, got a headband from DT, as you can see, that I just, um, I had to cut the material to get the bow off. Now I'm just going to end up hot gluing it and wrapping this bow, this material, almost like a Christmas present. I'm going to have to cut it there. I'm going to wrap it like this, hot glue it along the edges, fold this in, hot glue it there. the exact same way on the other side, hot glue it there without this material, and then hot glue it over. And I'm, I'm just gonna go like that. So you'll have, it won't look as messy as this, but you'll have a nice bow in between the ears that will be matching to the skirt. Okay, so, I was able to get the skirt on. I thought it turned out really well. I just fold it over, like I said, in the back and it's perfect length. And with gluing 
the legs right underneath. I just think it's a perfect length for that. Now, I'm just going to show you. So, like I said, the same the same goes for Mickey. So I did the same thing for the ears using the same uh, circular wood pieces from DT. And I did the exact same. I'm just going to put, no, I have this little so it doesn't tilt. Um, I did the exact same face as Mickey. Uh, same, just another river rock. I did the mouth the same. Now, with, oh, and I did the bow. Doesn't look the greatest on the back, but turned out really well. And that will just get glued on there. But I will do the ears first before I position it and just use hot glue to put it on. Now, and the neck, I'm sure not sure if I want it still tanned or if I want it black, but I'll decide after I glue on the head onto the body and see. Now for the eyes, oh, I just wanted to, I did the exact same thing for Mickey, did the exact same arms to attach to the body. I left the fur long. I'm just gonna see if I really like it longer just because it's mini. Now for the eyes, I'm gonna use googly eyes but I think she deserves some, some beautiful lashes and I didn't want to paint them on. And I went to DT, got these 3D faux mink lashes. Now, they come obviously the normal size. I end up cutting about, I say one quarter off and I, Put, and you don't need to use the glue that comes with it. It actually just, I just think it looks so pretty like that. Now, I'll just show you here. Now, where's my tweezers? You just pluck them off. And there's already glue on them. So you can just put them right on. Right, I just put it right on. We're having a thunderstorm. I don't know if you can hear the. So hopefully, power doesn't go out. And you're just going to cut them a little bit on each side, but I just think that it just gives it. See, it's just too much if you put a full one on. And it great, it's great that it just goes right on there. And then you're just going to hot glue it right on. And I just think that it's just adorable. So I'm going to glue the body parts on one by one and I will do the neck on the head and I'm going to, I don't want these lashes, I'm going to put the, the neck upside, oops, upside down and glue it and let it sit before I glue it onto the body and you want it centered and once once the um, the neck is glued on then i will just attach these i will leave these for a few hours and make sure it's situated after the neck is glued on and then i'll glue it on top of the body but while this is gluing like i said in the other video attaching the arms just a little bit down from the main level and sorry i'm just gonna move these out of the way just much easier to do them one arm at a time now i always find when i do something like this sometimes i stick a block underneath you know something that's maybe um that's still a little bit low but i find something i'll probably need another block that just to keep the arm up and I glue it towards the front of the body more than the back. Um, and then once that's done, I will move the arm to the other upside down. Oops. I can do both upside down because this is the base. And you're just going to make sure both the little paint marks are facing the same way when you do it. And it probably, I think the Jenga block's a little bit too high, but if you could stick something 
other, I don't want to stick my head under to block the camera. I just have these, something thin like this, just so it's not totally level with the body. And that's actually probably works a better idea. And just glue them on like this and then let them sit before you glue onto the legs. Because you want to make sure, because the back head, like I said with Mickey, it's going to be heavier with these wood, um, the ears on it. So, and then it, you'll probably have to move the body forward more on the legs be, to balance the weight out. Once I get all this glued together, I will show you the final, what they look like together. And I did get Mickey. I end up going to Fabricland and I end up getting some ribbon and I did, he did get a yellow bow. So I'll show you everything at the end and we'll see you shortly. All right, so here's Mickey and Minnie. They're both finished. There's the bow that I added that I got from the fabric store. I did put a, um, a necklace just around Minnie just to break it up to give it a little bit more uh, dressy look to it. This bow turned out okay. I'm not totally 100% with it, but I think it just adds a, a balance between the skirt and the bow in her hair. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please give a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I got a big lineup for the fall with Jingle Block Crafts um, as well as some other ones. Hope everybody's doing well. If you do have any questions or need help with any of my crafts, you're more than welcome to message me on my Crafty Shopper page on Facebook. Um, I just wanted to go through, so Minnie was 215 Jenga blocks with 16 cubes and Mickey was 223 with 16 cubes. The only difference was the side, the sides of Mickey's shorts and then with the, his bottom parts pushed together just to make it a straight cut. It doesn't, you can't see nothing under Minnie's skirt. So it, it just was a straight cut, but, uh, happy crafting and we'll see you soon. Bye.